Animal suicide is a hugely controversial issue in the world of animal research and psychology, because although there are numerous documented instances of animals seemingly intentionally ending their own lives, no one is exactly sure whether these cases can technically be classified as suicide. But today we will look at some of the animals that that intentionally commit suicide for greater good for their species. First we have the exploding ants, it has been noted that Colobopsis saundersi, species of ant possess the ability to explode themselves at will when threatened, often emitting some sticky or poisonous substance in the process, earning them the apt nickname of exploding ants. However, even if the ants realize what will happen in terms of their own existence when they perform this selfless act, most would not classify this as suicide any more than a soldier leaping onto a grenade to save surrounding soldiers, would be considered to have committed suicide. The ant sacrifices itself for the greater good because as a species, it's evolved to put the needs of the many before the needs of the individual. Moving on, to the next animal we have honeybees, Male honeybees will willingly explode their own penises and subsequently die, just for a chance to pass on their genes. During the queen's nuptial flight, she'll mate with about a dozen partners and leave a trail of their dead, penisless corpses in her wake. They will also willingly remove themselves from a hive if they know they're infected with a disease that could potentially hurt other bees. Next, and another tragic act of self-sacrifice. Shortly after mating female octopus stops eating and dies of starvation before the young hatches. She might even hasten her demise by actively ripping off parts of her own body. These behaviors seem to be orchestrated by nervous impulses from something known as the eoptic gland. Likewise, Japanese honeybees, when defending against the giant Asian hornet, will intentionally group together and ball the invader. Once they've surrounded the hornet, they will decouple their wings internally and then beat their muscles vigorously, similar to how honeybees heat their hives despite being cold-blooded. In this case, the heat at the center, combined with high carbon dioxide levels in the ball, becomes intense enough to kill the hornet, the bee's only real defense against it. Unfortunately, bees near the hornet in the ball may also die as a result, but do so willingly for the good of the hive. Next we have another ant species Ferelius pusillus, but this time in a slightly different manner than the exploding ants. Every night, the nest of a colony needs sealed off in such a way that the nest will be undetectable from the outside in order to protect it from predators. As such, sick ants or ones who are older will volunteer to perform the task of staying outside the nest at night. Once all the rest of the ants are inside, the sacrificial ants will seal up and hide the entrance and usually will end up dying from being left outside. Lastly, we feel like we have to point out that the most famous suicidal animal of all, lemmings, do not actually throw themselves off of cliffs when they migrate. As we've already mentioned before, no one is exactly sure where the myth originated from, but we can thank Disney for making it common misconception. If you find this video informative please like, comment and subscribe the channel, thank you.